Hi guys! Hello. You both look so good. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. And Sabrina, you've been on Young Hollywood a ton of times. I know. I remember the time I like peeled a banana without my thumbs over there. That was hard. <laughs> and then Finn, this is your debut, I think. Yeah, thanks for having me. I'm glad to be here. Did you did you guys know each other, have met in person before you found out you guys got casted? Well, at the chemistry read, yes. Yeah. But we that was the first time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you guys, you act really, really good on screen. So was it instant friendship? Like, were you guys excited right away to be able to do the project together? No, we're just good <laughs> actors. Good. Yeah, no, we're just really good <laughs> actors. Um, yeah. <laughs> no, I think it was probably like a few days after um, we had both booked it. Um, Sabrina came over and we were hanging out at the farm that I worked at. Goats. That was such a good day. You know, we just got to know each other and we were playing each other's like unreleased music and uh, playing mm -hmm. clouds together, you know, just to see how it felt and, and it felt amazing. You know, we connected through music right off the bat and it's actually very akin to Zach and Sammy's friendship. You know? Oh, for sure. It worked out really well then. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And then in one of the opening scenes, you're going, Finn, going back and forth with like your crush in the movie about a picnic date what would you guys, each of you think in real life is the cutest date idea? Mm -hmm. I mean, picnic's a pretty good one. I, I would say picnic on the beach, but you have to go on a hike first. <laughs> That's so cute. <laughs> a perfect date? Uh, well, I guess obviously picnics are, are beautiful and wonderful. Um, I also love a road trip. I think road trips are really fun. You get to know people like a lot quicker. Um, by being forced to be in a vehicle with them for a long time. <laughs> and their music taste. And their music taste. Right. That, right. That's that. a huge thing. And that's, that's a huge thing for me, too. Like, if the music taste isn't synced up, I don't know what right. this one is. If the music <laughs> taste is not aligned, we are not aligned. <laughs> not going to work. Not going to work. And then also in the movie, you guys are obviously constantly giving each other advice. Do you do that in real life? Were you behind the scenes giving each other advice a lot? Probably unknowingly, I think. Like, yeah, we just have conversations yeah. about what's going on in our lives. And I wouldn't say, that, I don't think, like, no definitive. You gave me advice for sure. I was like, oh, I felt like I was always going through something. I was like, Finn, what do I do? Like, <laughs> just like, yeah. yeah I suppose. If you guys were told that you had 24 hours to live, what, was, what would be one thing that you'd make sure that you'd want to do? I would want to bring all the people that I could, that I love, uh, as close to me as possible, you know, if they're, if they are around and just go to nature and uh, explore and talk and just enjoy each other's company. Maybe like a, a beach bonfire or something. That would be a pretty epic way to say, I love you all, let's dance around this fire. <laughs> you know? Anything with the beach in you works out for you. Good. I know. Yeah, I guess I'm pretty predictable. I just like the ocean. <laughs> um, I think I'd probably write like an album if I had 24 hours to live, like an acoustic album with all my closest like friends. Um, and like you said, like making sure I have the people I love around me and I just like document however I was feeling in those last 24 hours. If I could do it in Paris, that would be better, but I'm not gonna be Beggars can't be choosy, so. <laughs> Just hop on a quick flight to Paris real quick. <laughs> Do you guys think that you will, have you seen it all through already? Yeah. Did you, when you first watched it all the way through, did you cry at all? <laughs> yes. Bro, <laughs> simple answer. <laughs> um, quick, quick and simple answer, lots of bawling. I, I think the first time I watched it, though, I was kind of in shock for, for a bit. And I didn't start crying until, like, 15 or 20 minutes after the movie had ended which is oh, kind of wow. weird. but um I, I was just sitting there like with my thoughts like oh my gosh like mm -hmm. that was insane it, just taking it all in but every single time I've watched it since which is like probably seven or eight times <laughs> I've I've cried unfailingly I think I yeah. cry more, and more each time um yeah but definitely a lot of tears the last time I watched it it was uncontrollable sobbing I'm proud to say that um, and, and the first time I watched it, it, like you said, like I was processing until the very last, uh, end of the movie, which people will see, but it's, uh, it gets you, it, it really gets you there. It does. Cause it's so, there's some really, really intense scenes. So when you guys are watching it, do you feel like you're watching not yourselves or, you know what I mean? Like, do you feel like you're feel watching, like watching myself, not in that wig, you know, um, <laughs> 
No, it is weird. I keep saying that. Like, I don't, I don't watch it as if I'm watching myself, especially because of the story, because I'm so invested in like the real story. I've just felt like I was watching that story brought to life, which was really cool. Yeah. Yeah. And the weird thing is, you know, having become so close with Sabrina and also knowing Madison prior to filming, I, I was expecting to watch this and think, oh, that's me and Sabrina and Madison. Right. But everyone did such an amazing job of tapping into who their character was. And when you see it on screen, I see Sammy. I see Sammy and I see Amy and I see Zach and I see all of them interacting. So it's, it, it doesn't feel like I'm watching myself. It's actually this strange like sort of dissociation. Um, but I think that's, that's good. It, it's perfect for the story because this is about, uh, this is about them. This is about Zach and Sammy and Amy and their story together. Thank you guys so much for talking today. Awesome. Thank you so Thank you. much.